Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is an update video for my hot stocks of 2019. I chose these stocks before the beginning of 2019, five of them, to trade uh, for 2019. So we are at February the 12th. Uh, we've done okay so far. Uh, PTC is the first. We haven't got the entry. Remember, we're looking for the fifth wave move on the weekly here. So a longer term move. And we are looking for that entry at 92.07. It almost got there last week, actually. Very, very close, but didn't quite make it. So for me, that rejection is really good. It shows us that we have got a good resistance level there. And if we can get through it and through $92, we should be good to go for a longer term swing here on the weekly time frame. So 92.07 is still the entry. We're still looking good on all the parameters. Uh, we just need some movement. As you can see, we're, we're on Tuesday this week, last, yesterday, Monday, very much an indecision day yesterday. This is the weekly chart, um, but uh, this is going nowhere. The market is very flat at the moment, but 92.07 still a really good entry for a long swing on PTC. So Adobe is next. We're already in this one, so I just need to uh, go back to the daily time frame on this. So we're in this, uh, and I've just actually placed a trading stop to lock profit now. So let's just zoom in here. So remember, again, on the on the weekly, we identified this as a potential fifth wave trade, but we got a signal on, on our black box breakout indicator on the daily time frame. So we got in early, uh, and at this moment in time, the entry was down here at 240.06. We're at 258 now, so we're on an $18 uh, move on this so far. We had this indecision doji yesterday. Now this can be a bit of a concern because it was increased volume. So we got the gap up, but yesterday we didn't actually do anything with it. So we maintained the gap. We didn't go anywhere with it. We, what could happen today is we could get a gap down and we get that uh, morning star effect here where we, that is the signal for a bearish move. So at this moment in time, I've just been a, bit, a little bit cautious. I've put a trailing stop locking in profit here, around about 90% profit times risk uh, at 249.87. So this is a sensible uh, trading stop position after this um, pullback. We've got a support zone there and we're just below there. We're just below the whole $250 mark. Uh, so quite sensible, but I really need to see how this price action goes today. So I don't want to give too much away of this profit, uh, but I've got to see if this support resistance zone here around about 254 can hold if it comes down. Now, the next level, 262 really, is our next resistance zone. And that's where our 200% uh, mark is there. So we are looking to push through that. This could cause a bit of a pullback. And we could test here. We could become range bound between these two price levels here. Uh, but at this moment in time, we're risk free. We've got profit locked in with the trading stop. So very happy with the Adobe trade. UMP triggered yesterday. Remember, we talked about this a, a, week, or so, a week or so ago when I did the last update video. We put this trade together. We look, we're looking for that uh, breakout of this range, 162.13, with a stop loss 158. Uh, 25. We had the gap up yesterday, did come back down and test the entry now with a uh, stop limit order. That's very easy to get in there because, to be honest, it wasn't that far away from um, from our entry price. And uh, this sort of price, $162, you need to be 40 or 50 cents plus or minus on that stop limit order there. Um, so <clears throat> this is in. It did well yesterday for the first day. We got a green candle, so on this black box breakout indicator, that denotes increased volume from the day before. We not we didn't just maintain the gap, we closed near the high. Good solid candle, good start, but we have got some resistance coming up here. So we've got to be careful on here. We might just have to nick a little bit of profit and take this out. But let's see how that momentum acts at this resistance level here. Remember, UMP, we're looking for new highs. We're looking to test the top bound of this weekly channel here at the 170 sort of dollar mark. So let's see if we can push through this previous resistance level there uh, and get into uncharted territory. 
So next is Costco. We are potentially looking for a short here, but it just doesn't seem to want to go down and throw our entry at 205.75. Um, this is more of an insurance play. Uh, th this moment in time, the markets are very, very rangy, and this doesn't want to go anywhere. But we have got that order on just in case at 205.75, uh, ready to go for a potential short fifth wave move. And then into, this one's been on the longest at the moment. We are in a really good profit making position right now. Our original entry was at 206.75. We've managed to push through this big resistance zone and then it's come back down to test it as support. But what I want to do at the moment, just be a little bit cautious on my trading stop. I want to be risk free. Absolutely. So I've put my trading stop just underneath this uh, zone around about 80% profit times risk locked in um, profit wise uh, 216.26 is my trailing stop remember the entry was at 206.75 so that's a ten dollar move we've locked in there now we did push higher yesterday but again a little bit like adobe we rejected those highs on higher volume and got this potential morning star here now this could be totally wiped out today with a higher high higher low but it could mean the start of a bit of a pullback to, te back te to test this support level again. And we're now back in this weekly channel. If we zoom out a little bit here, we're back in there. So it could come test that lower bound. So my trading stop is in a sensible position, making it risk free, locking in profit. Uh, and, but just giving it a little bit of room just in case it wants to move down. Remember, we're trying to get back into here and we've potentially got this big target zone here at 247. This is a long way off. It's got a lot to do and the markets have really got to be on our side. But the main thing is we're in three trades out of the five for these hot stocks for 2019. We're in profit in all three and so far so good for this year for these five hot stocks for 2019. We're in a really good position. So have a great trading day and I will do an update video in maybe a week or two.